we're back got the pup back for another video talking about my personal microdiscectomy experience um i did one at the two month mark and now i'm doing one at the 10 month mark i wanted to stay on top of it more and i apologize for anyone who actually cares and is a little bit interested and um anyone who's watching this um and has seen the previous videos i should have been more on top of it and i really wanted to be but life happens last time i filmed this video i was in our seattle apartment and now me and my wife not girlfriend have moved down to arizona so a bunch has happened and that's kind of why this video is so delayed but nonetheless i am excited to kind of talk about my personal experience and um i hope this video helps anybody who's thinking about um getting a microdiscectomy or anyone who has a herniated disc like myself and uh yeah i just wanted to kind of give a little update and to as to where i am now we got cora hanging out with us so yeah let's get into it um i am just approaching the 10 month mark so it's crazy to me because at the 10 month mark i feel i don't want to say a hundred percent good but i feel so much better than i did kind of at that three month mark four month mark five month mark it really wasn't for me at least personally, until kind of, because I did physical therapy from the two month mark to about the f five month mark. And um, that may seem like a lot, but it was really just like one time a week. And then towards the end, it became like once every two weeks. But it was really for me after physical therapy was completed, that I would say I was pretty much back to normal. Now, when we first moved down to Arizona, I was so worried because we loaded up our entire, like, everything we owned and um, everything our little puppy owns into a Penske, and I was just dreading the idea of unloading that three flights of stairs. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if my back's going to be able to handle this, and um, that was at about the seventh month mark, and I remember that was probably the first test I was like, okay. I'm gonna have to lift more than I have lifted since before back surgery, and uh, we're just gonna see. I felt super good, but you don't really know until um, you kind of like push the boundaries a little bit. And I remember we probably spent about two hours, like so many flights of stairs, moving absolutely everything in, and oh man, this Arizona heat is no joke. That's the sides of the point though, but it was rough. And um, other than it just being like physically tasking, my back and kind of where my incision point was, was totally fine. I will say there was a little bit of soreness, but that was like to be expected almost because that was so much lifting. But past the physical therapy mark, I was obviously given um, kind of stretches to follow up with and um, kind of just some exercises to do routinely. And I'm going to be honest, I have not been too good about doing those. Um, I should be certainly be better and I plan to kind of get back into that. I really have no excuse as to why I haven't been, but um, it's just sometimes it becomes a little bit of an inconvenience. The, besides the point, you can't be like that. And I know I have to do my stretches and exercises, but even not doing that kind of at the 10 month mark, I'd say I'm about 95 to even like 98% um, back to normal since before surgery. So I really only notice kind of the pain when I'm doing kind of a good amount of lifting or if I've been sitting for like a eight, nine hours at a time, just like not being that mobile at all. And that very rarely happens really if I've I'm trying to think like one time I really wasn't feeling well and I would just remember like laying in bed and then I started to notice a little bit of irritation in kind of that area that was really um, pertinent for me, which was kind of my low back, my butt, my upper hamstring um, on my right hand side. So other than that, I live a very normal life. Um, I'm trying to think the biggest thing for me, kind of pre-surgery, I was really worried about not being able to, you know, do activities and just be as physical as I am now. Um, and as I was before surgery, kind of going into um, the microdiscectomy. But with that being said, I play basketball every single day. The gyms are currently closed because the whole because the whole Rona situation. So I can't really speak on that. But before that, which for me would have been about the eight nine month mark, I was going to the gym routinely. I was um, doing everything without really any limitations. Um, I was kind of worried because basketball has been like a big part of my life and something I love to do that I wasn't going to be able to kind of do like the contact aspect of basketball that just happens throughout the sport. But for the few kind of weeks before the gym closed, I was playing like pickup basketball and all of that. Um, I was fine. And this is just my personal experience. You know, 
obviously do what your specialist and kind of surgeon, physical therapist, all that recommends. But I'm so happy I went through with the surgery and um, my biggest takeaway was that I wish I would have done it sooner. So I experienced this sort of pain, discomfort in that area I just described for about two, almost three years before I went with my L5 S1 microdiscectomy surgery. And um, it was a great experience. I remember I was thinking like three months is what I was told it was like the minimum of really taking it easy, really, you know, not doing anything, taking away all your physical activities that you would do before. And the thought of that was just terrible to me at the time. And that's, that's really like arrogant thinking or just ignorant thinking because, um, you know, your health should always be your number one priority, but I'm not trying to tell you, tell you guys how to live your life or anything, but I just can't believe how how I thought before surgery, like that would be such an inconvenience. And I wish I would have just done it sooner. It was um, a really great experience for me personally. And um, not to say that I'll be the same for everyone else, but I cannot speak highly of it enough. And um, yeah, it's really crazy to me that I'm still seeing kind of growth and um, feeling better at the 10 month mark than I would say I was at the eight month mark. Um, I hope this video helped. I want to do kind of a follow-up probably at the year mark. And um, yeah, probably I'd like to think that I'll have a really good idea of kind of how surgery went at the year mark. I feel like that's a good amount of time post-surgery to kind of just uh, really see how I'm feeling and um, kind of compare and contrast before surgery, after surgery. But um, yeah, like I had mentioned in previous videos, I'm gonna link those at the end of the video if you wanna check those out. Um, the two week post-op and the eight week post-op. So wherever you are at in your microdiscectomy experience, whether you're just thinking about it or you have done it, um, I hope this video helped. Um, it was really crazy to me and I don't know if I had touched on this earlier in the video, but people had messaged me kind of right around um, June and I think it was just because maybe they had a little bit more free time and they were considering you know, having the surgery, but I had probably like 30 to 40 requests through emails or DMs or anything, YouTube comments. Kind of asking about my personal experience and um, that's really what made me like dang okay I need to make this video because um, I remember when I was kind of like thinking about getting a microdiscectomy it was so I never really saw the perspective of kind of a younger male going through this so I hope this video helped um, any questions or concerns or anything relating to your um, microdiscectomy experience or lower back surgery um, I would love to be a great resource and um, answer any questions you have. I'm going to leave my email linked in the description and yeah, feel free to reach out whenever and I will make a follow-up video at the year-long mark. Until next time, we're out.